Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon is a top-down 2D twin stick, well, mouse and keyboard, roguelike game, kind of in the vein of Binding of Isaac. Basically, if you took the Binding of Isaac, removed the fetuses and added guns. That is the best way to describe it. I thought I'd play a little bit of this. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, and we'll go along here. We start with four different characters. Uh, the general premise is that we are going through what is known as the Gungeon in the search of a gun that can kill the past. So we've got the Convict, the Hunter. I've actually got some things sitting here that I did not have before. Um, I've only played like a couple of runs of this, so... I'm actually going to start with the Pilot. I think he's kind of the, uh, the easy mode. Eh, I wouldn't say easy mode, but he's kind of the... Um, the baseline character. Yeah, this tent here was not here before. So that's kind of very interesting. Uh, the thing in the upper right are some sort of credits that I don't have access to. Um, this is the co-op guy. And there's a tutorial thing over here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I just want to make sure my mouse cursor is in. Uh, I have lowered the screen shake almost to nothing because um, I find that it can be really jarring for some people to watch. So, there won't be much screen shaking going on here. We are now ready to enter the Gungeon, so let's get right to it. Uh, very, very similar to The Binding of Isaac, if you've played that or seen people play that um, in the structure. We go into a dungeon, we have rooms and floors, it's a clear room, it opens up new paths. Kill your past, you've already damned your future, the rest is worn away. Hmm. So I can go into the Ammonomicon. And yes, that's a uh, special weapon that got added. Um, so we have the Rogue Special as the pilot. Infinite ammo, doesn't reveal walls, this is our secret walls. Given to the pilot by his partner, it's never let him down. We also have the trusty lockpick. Chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. Um, I believe if I if this fails, it also breaks the lock, then we can't use it. Um, we get extra active item capacity and maximum ammo, and we reduce the price of items at shops. So the Ammonomicon is kind of like a an in-game wiki of sorts, which is actually really really handy. Um, you can see all this stuff. That's the first boss. <laughs> might might see him, might not. Uh, it's a lot of randomness. So uh, the main things here is we can point and shoot using mouse and keyboard. You can also use a controller, and I've heard a lot of people say it works actually really well. Um, there's just no... Um, what do I want to say? There's no crosshair for it right now, so it's a little weird. In the upper left, you've got health. Uh, blanks help you clear bullets. Below that are keys, and um, other bullets are kind of currency. So the big difference between this and something like the Binding of Isaac, not only is it 360 degree firing, um, but you have a dodge roll, and it's actually very, very important. Hopefully the sound is pretty good here. Uh, the game's got some pretty good audio design, so I want to hold that there. I can reload at any time. The earlier you reload, the faster it is. Um, waiting for the weapon to be completely empty takes longer to reload. Not sure if that's the case for every uh, weapon, but... I know some weapons work that way. Now I actually already took damage, which is really bad because uh, restoring your health in Enter the Gungeon is actually uh, very uncommon. You don't get a lot of health drops. These things here are portals. At any time I can click one of them and we will teleport there. I also flip over tables to create cover. Can't fire over them though, and they can be destroyed. I'm probably not going to play particularly well on my first run here on camera. Uh, my first run off camera actually was pretty good. I got to the end of the second floor. Alright, we have a ghost enemy here. Hopefully I'll find new weapons soon. Um, Rogue Special Infinite Ammo is nice, but not very strong. Now this fireplace is something I've seen a couple of times. Are there no enemies in here either? Mm, that's very suspicious. Um, I 
very strange. I don't know what this is. I've seen it before, though. And I feel like it's got to be for something. I actually also don't know the way you find secret rooms just yet. It's kind of... A lot of this stuff I'm, I'm learning, so... Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to use our lock. It worked. Ooh, get a new gun. Got the wind-up gun. Charging. It's got a lot of ammo. Let's see what that is. Decreases in damage output as the clip empties. You gotta wind it. Huh. Oh my god. Listen to that sound effect. <laughs> Up goes the weasel. Oh man. That's, wow, it actually fired really fast, too. Alright, that is an ammo crate. Now, I've noticed that if I leave the ammo crate here, I'll actually show it off because my ammo is in a pretty good spot. Um, it will actually get taken from us. I'm not quite sure if you can ever get those things back if that happens. Oh yeah, that is actually significantly less powerful if you will edit uh, the window there. Yeah, so you see now that that item is gone. Uh, and there's a note left instead. Thanks for the ammo, Flunky. It's this rat. Um, I don't, so I don't know if you can find the rat. But um, if you leave stuff like that behind, you will take it. So we have a shop here. Snowballer. Table tech site. Huh. Supposed to buy ammo or keys. Now, I think blanks replenish when you change floors, so... Probably make some use of those. But I kinda wanna save them from the boss. That was a interesting photograph. You also notice a lot of enemies are gun themed. thinking, oh, well, this looks really easy right now. It ramps up pretty fast. I think it was 30 for that, uh, that site, right? Make some cover here. The tables are kind of double-edged. Um, sometimes it's, it's good, sometimes you just want to be able to shoot over them. Wanted posters or something on the walls there. I definitely do like to clear out a floor before fighting the boss, because many advantages are possible. I think every floor has two potential treasure chest rooms, but not a hundred percent on makeup again. Everything is very new right now. Uh, looks like these rooms will connect. You can also roll the uh, barrels. This guy has quite a bit of health. Hey, I, oh, I didn't have to take damage there. I do like this gun. It seems very good. And we actually got a little bit of health there. Um, and the silver bullets that he dropped, I believe, uh, give me more. It's probably like a nickel, basically. So let's teleport back here. Let's actually buy this. Flip multiplier. Is that a passive item? Yeah. Briefly increase, increase gun output whenever a table is flipped. Huh, okay. I don't know, it's not a bad habit of hitting uh, escape on those instead of just I again. Now, if we do a boss without taking damage, we actually get a bonus upgrade. Uh, we get a max health upgrade. Just temporary for the run, but it is kind of nice. So if I'm able to do that, that would be a huge boost. Alright, here it is. Do I want to try this? Hmm, I do have a key. Why don't I just open it? It's not risky. What is that? Balance. Vote of confidence. Proof of participation in the democratic process. PSA, voting is cool no matter what anyone says. I wonder what that does. 
Um, doesn't actually give me any hint as to what the, um, the item actually does there. That's weird. I should also get used to teleporting around. Um, do have that convenience available. Uh, the reason that shows as a pink portal is that you can just go over there, press E, and you automatically go back to wherever you teleported from. Oh, here's our boss. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's see what we get for a boss here. Uh, I don't believe I fought this boss before. Nope, definitely not. Wow. The trigger twins. Alrighty. Let's do it. Definitely will get to show off the blank here, most likely. Oh boy. Alright, they are very quick. You can reload while dodging. Okay, that was a blank. Clears all bullets from the screen. It actually prevents more bullets from spawning, I think, for around a second or two. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of this without taking damage. I've only done that with one of the bosses before, I think. Also, if you're not a fan of circle stage, well, uh, you better get used to it. Ah, I took damage. Ooh, it took two points of damage there, actually. So, we're not gonna get the extra health upgrade bonus, which is not necessarily uh, the death of a run, but certainly it's gonna make things a little more difficult. So that's one of them down. Uh, this other one seems angry. Really angry. Oh boy. Yeah, he's much, much faster. Actually, taking a lot of damage here. I definitely don't want to die this early in the run. I'd like to get at least to the end of the second floor. Almost dead. Got it. All right, that could have gone better. It could have been worse. We get one of these uh, little credits as well. I'm still not entirely sure what those are for just yet. Get a point of armor, and reload, and we get a new gun. Witch pistol, spells your doom. Huh. Chance to transmogrify. Interesting. Oh, that's very fancy looking. I don't think we can afford to buy anything, so let's just head downstairs. I can only take two more hits before I die, so this is gonna be a little interesting to see how far I can get here. And on the second floor, things definitely start to ramp up quite a bit. Oh, we got the shop already. That's actually really nice. Unfinished gun. That's interesting. Prime primer. I don't know exactly what those are. It's some sort of special item, though. Um, I might just want to buy health, to be honest. We can also fight the shopkeeper, I think, but I'm gonna guess that's ill-advised with my experience. This doesn't seem super high-powered. I wonder what the transmogrify is. I don't think we've seen it happen. Oh yeah, that guy got turned into a little duck, or a, a chicken. So that kind of just insta-kills an enemy, I guess. Right, we gotta, whoa, I don't know what's going on here. We got like some weird bullet time and I was shooting triple shot briefly. Oh, that was from flipping the table. Oh wow, that's actually awesome. Okay, so that's what that uh, item does. That's crazy. I really gotta make, make use of that. And it's only using one bullet. I'm actually very surprised I didn't get hit there. Get a point of health. That's actually, that's the, um... Yeah, yeah, the flip multiplier, table tech sight. That's really, really strong, it seems. Uh, maybe I'll hold off on getting health for now. I'm actually kind of curious with the wind-up gun, what kind of effect that has. It's also a triple shot, you know, if it's the same for every weapon, or how that works. Of course, there's not going to be any tables in here now. Oh man, this enemy is 
pretty tough. You can only hit him when he's uh, opened up there and he shoots out a ton of spines. I think I got him. Oh, we got a new set of enemies here. That enemy I know can cause uh, burning damage. No good. The thing to really get a hold on, I think, is going to be uh, the use of just the blanks. Not holding them indefinitely. Ooh, what is this? Cell key. What could it unlock? Now, I saw in one of my previous runs a cell door. I don't know if that means this is guaranteed it's gonna show up again, but there seems to be like a character or something in there. But you also can fall into the pit, so it does damage to you. Oh, oh wow, I'm really surprised it did not fall there. Um, I could really use uh, a table to flip it out. Oh. I have a really bad habit of uh, dodging away from things, and I really shouldn't. Now, I believe when you lose armor, it automatically triggers a blank, so here we go. Yeah, it looks like it always does the, the triple shot, so that's pretty nice. And it gives you that slow-mo effect. It's very, very powerful. It's basically like a stopwatch in the Binding of Isaac, but with a triple shot component. Uh, do I want to take the risk on this? It's just open. Ooh. Prototype Railgun, Danger High Voltage, this is a very, very low ammo. Launches a dense metal slug at incredible speeds. Huh, okay. Oh, this is that prison cell. And we can open it. Oh, sweet. What is this? Hi. Oh, finally. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously? It's been forever. We should get back up to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. You should come by. We're on the top level of the breach. You can't miss it. Huh. Thank you for rescuing Mistress Cadence and this one. I will escort her to the breach. Ox. Always so slow. Okay, so maybe this is where we spend those uh, those credits or whatever they are that we've been finding. This is a creepy bullet sarcophagus room? The altar is empty. Do nothing. Hmm, okay. Not entirely sure what we do there. Uh, we should probably just teleport here. I have to get used to them. I'm so used to playing the Binding of Isaac and having to manually backtrack. It's kind of a nice thing. Whoa, what is this? The only legible text is offering. The rest is blank. Uh, maybe I can drop a gun? Let's try dropping this. Offering. It didn't seem to do anything. Hmm, I'm not sure. Whoa. So I actually have to hold this to fire. Oh my god, this takes like forever to fire. Alright, I'm not going to use this weapon in here. Um, I am pretty curious as to how it works. I really, really need to stop dodging away from this. You only get invincibility frames for the first half of the dodge, so it's actually better... It's, it's hard to internalize that. Also, while I'm thinking about it, you can also uh, break open treasure chests, but your chances of getting anything good out of them is extremely slim that way. Ooh, 
Wow, I think that was a really good shot by that little bullet guy. A lot of uh, potential plate ways to go here. Okay, that's the boss. Definitely don't want to do that just yet. There we go. Ah, not dodging. Okay, now I really need to be careful. Now we can't, um, I got an extra blank. We can't teleport while we're in the middle of a fight either, so. I think I need to go buy some health. Um, as much as I would like to not waste it. I wonder, is health or armor better? Might as well buy the armor, right? Gives me a free blank that way. In fact, we can actually buy both. I would like to buy these other things, but um, I really would like to try to get past this. Level. There should be one more treasure chest around as well, so... Alright, so that's a sniper enemy. Off, off screen right now. Gotcha. Okay. Kind of like a heavy duty shotgun enemy. Oh, he explodes as well. Oh, wow, that, I didn't realize the enemies could flip over tables too. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Now, I believe this X means this is a one-way door. So we would have to come around from another angle to open it. What is this room? Nursing, whoa. That's got a different kind of lock. Um, it's got a lot of treasure in there. I've never seen this room before. I mean, it's gonna go for a lot of rooms, really. Hmm, curious. I'd like to get to that table, but I don't want to risk it either, unnecessarily. There we go. Uh, what do we need ammo for? I guess we'll take ammo for the wind-up gun. I'm kind of using that the most. This is like a trap room, it looks like. Oh wow, we got another ammo canister. Okay. Well, this is excessively dangerous. There we go. I was gonna say, there's gotta be. Oh, we don't have a key. Well, let's try it. Ah, shoot. I think that means it's locked out permanently, even if we get a key from the boss. Um, I guess we'll try using. The railgun on the boss, whatever our boss is. This is gonna be tough to- Whoa, what are you? The beholster, I get it. Alright. Uh, that actually does a lot of damage. However, oh, I did not realize that was a pit. This is, this is not good. Seems like I can charge up. Oh no! Oh man. I was really getting used to that railgun too. Well, that is our first death. Um, I would like to return to the breach and get this little stat screen, which is kind of nice. Let's return to the breach and go see if we can find that shop. Oh, we do have to select the character. Um, so let's see, it's not there. Can I jump across here? Yeah, I can. How about that? So let's see. Yeah, this is open now. Heart bottle, gamma ray, Thompson, RPG. Thanks for getting us out of the cells. Dungeon acquisitions department. Gad. Can donate credits or whatever, or order new guns and items for the collection. No. Oh. Each bond took over. 
Gungeon is a reliquary or some kind of museum, only for guns. Collecting the best ones and throwing them downstairs. Constant supply of new equipment, they'll sell us anything. Huh. Once they're ordered, you can find the new stuff down in the chambers. If you've ordered everything we have listed, just come back later. Okay. You're welcome. So I guess this is a way that we unlock new items. Um, kind of curious about heart bottle. Can we see that down here somewhere? Yeah, the heart bottle has joined the shootout. Where'd we look? Um, friendship cookie, heart bottle, heart bottle. Where is it? Or maybe it doesn't show up because we've never actually picked it up before. Heart bottle. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we actually have to pick it up before we get the uh, information on it. We have two more credits. Is there another two here? There's a gamma ray. Yeah, let's try that. Alright, so we've unlocked those two items now, so they'll show up on future runs. But I think that'll do it for now. Uh, if you like the video, click like. helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how many of these videos I'm going to do, but uh, that game's pretty damn fun, so I'll probably do a few at least. Oh, and there's a bed here now, too. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.